Hey guys, happy Friday. Thank you for joining me. Today, we are going to take a look at Psalms 81. Um, what I wanna to talk to you about is how your words matter, your thoughts, how they must align to the word of God. I wanna to talk to you how important it is that you follow the instructions of the Lord and you're obedient to his ways and you don't fall off of the wagon. You don't start looking back to your past. When God brings you out and he restores you and he revives you and he heals you and he makes all things new, don't look back, but keep going, keep going in the things of God. And I think that it's important that we always remember because so often, if you don't remember the things that God has done for you, you will fall back to your old ways. And you don't want to do that. How many people, when they're in the outs, when they're going through a storm, they know who to call on. <laughs> they could be living like the devil, but the moment things hit rock bottom, bottom they know to cry out to God because there's something in us that always pulls us back to the Father. But when he brings you out of the storm, when he shows you great compassion, when he is merciful to you, do you slowly go back to your old ways? Were you prayerful when you were going through the storm? Were you fasting? Were you seeking God with your whole heart? And as soon as he delivers you, you slowly went back to your old ways? Well, that's what the Israelites did. They saw great miracles. He took them out of slavery. He divided the Red Sea so that they could walk through on dry land. He even caused the waves to crash over their enemies. He caused them to prevail over those who tried to destroy them. But slowly some forgot where their victory came. And you know, we look at that and you say, how in the world could they forget something so great? But people do it all the time because they begin to look back. And this is why it's so important that we're constantly moving forward in the things of God, that we allow our minds to be renewed. And the only way your mind is gonna be renewed is through the word of God. This is why you have to be in it daily. You have to make room for God. And I always, I love to say, is there any room in the end? Do you make room for God or do you just fit him in wherever you can? Because God says, seek the kingdom first and his righteousness and all things will be added to you we we have to seek the kingdom first but what about and his righteousness god is holy so when god instructs you when he leads you to release things to let go of people things situations habits whatever it is whatever the lord tells you to do do it remembering that his ways are higher than your ways and his thoughts are higher than your thoughts it's not about what you can perceive or understand to be to be you know rational or that's extreme or that's not no 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 just do it and see how the lord transforms your life when you trust him and not your own thoughts and so in psalms 81 he is crying out to them you know he is extending the olive branch for them to come back to their first love, come back because he wants to bless them. He doesn't want to see any of his children lost. So like a good father, he's constantly uh, chasing after them, trying to awaken their hearts and their minds to the truth so they don't get deceived by the enemy. He wants them to come back to the word. And he has these laws and statutes and, and percepts and provisions for us so that we don't fall into deception. He wants us to always be anchored in the word of God because he knows that we are so drawn to just stray and to do things as the world is doing them. And he doesn't want us to fall away. So he says, hey, make sure you're anchored in my commandments. Make sure you're anchored in my percepts. Make sure you're anchored in my, my truth. It's not because I want you to not be able to go hang out with your friends and do all of these wonderful things, but I'm like a good parent. I'm out here trying to protect you all. This is lavender, you all. <laughs> and um, he just wants to make sure that you are blessed and not cursed. The enemy doesn't want to see you thriving and growing in the knowledge of Christ because he knows there's life, okay? So he's telling them, stop serving these false gods right and we look at false gods like we're bowing down to statues and buddha yes those are false gods too but also you could be serving things like your career your own ambitions your own interests 
you could be doing things in your own strength um and that could be you know serving false gods so we have to just ask god you know what are what is in me that you want to purge away and help me to walk in the truth of your word and if there's anything that is within me that is not pleasing to you lord please help me to put it away and god is faithful because he knows we're but dust right and we need him but we have to be willing to be obedient okay and we have to be willing to listen and we see you know so many cases where people were not willing to be obedient even though god was rescuing them like abraham interceded for his family for lot and for his family and the angels of the lord were sent to instruct them to come out of that wicked city and as they led them out of the city you all they said do not look back this instruction was given to them all do not look back but there was one that was disobedient and she just couldn't obey the word of the Lord because she chose to do things her own way. And so she looked back. And when she looked back, the angels of the Lord had to do exactly what the voice of God told them to do. And she turned into a pillar of salt. She didn't make it. And so it's just really important that we listen to the instruction of the Lord, that we heed his warning. Because if we heed his warning, we're going to eat the good of the land. We're going to be safe. But if we look back, to the things of this world and we start doing things the old way the way we used to we're gonna fall and you don't want to fall you want to head to the promised land and we know that the israelites there were only a couple joshua and caleb that made it so when we walk this walk you all everybody's not gonna make it sad to say but you have to be willing to still share the gospel. You have to be willing to do what the word of the Lord asks you to do. And you have to be willing to move forward and not look back. Because if you look back, you're going to lose everything. So that's all I really wanted to remind you of. Your obedience is important in this hour. You have to have a willing heart. God is not going to force you. This is why, you know, some people wonder why this person is accelerated in the things of God and why, why, why am I not? Are you being obedient? Are you allowing the Lord to renew in you a clean heart? Renew in you, your, renew your mind? Don't get caught up in just doing church. You got a small group. You do your devotional a day, but you don't live for him because there will come a time where some will come it's prophesied in the bible they'll say lord lord didn't i do this didn't i do that and he's going to say depart from me you workers of iniquity don't confuse doing church work for having a relationship with god because there's a lot of people that do church really good but they don't know him you all have a blessed day. It's something for us all to think about. Remember the word that I give to you. It's a word for me too. The Holy Spirit is teaching us all. I am just a vessel. You all have a blessed day. A happy Friday. And God willing, I will see you Monday. Take care. Bye.